Hey everyone, welcome to my new series. Um, it is called Building the City or Building the Town. You guys will have to help me down below about what I should call it. It's basically a series where I build a city, a town. And this episode, as you can see by the title, is called Building the Fountain. So, I'm really excited to get into this super cool series because I love speedboats and um, I love watching speedboats. I think they're fun and I love the commentary of them. So I decided to do it. I do it I'm gonna do it myself. So I'm doing it right now. Um and so building fountain is finally arrived. It will be the first installment and there will be many to come. So many to come. So let's get right into it. So I started by grabbing on the sink in my inventory and taking away all this dirt because I wanted it to be quite a big fountain because I looked at this and I was like, no. So I decided I wanted it to be a very big fountain that had a, I decided on a 12 by 12 dimension. As you can see, I mind you know, that village in the distance, don't worry about it. So we are going, so I did fill it with cobble string because I wanted that at the bottom, that pebbled kind of look. So I did that on the bottom and um, filled it all in, and then decided, oh, you know, I should do wood as my, uh, well, I first decided to try build the upwards part of the little, um, little fountain to try where the water would come down from, and it wasn't going so great, because I still am thinking that maybe it's a bit off at the end of this, but now I was just putting out my water and seeing. But I still loved the little design I've made at the end, and I hope you guys do. So I started adding my wood, and then I really didn't like it. I thought I looked weird, so I demolished it here, and added cobblestone, it looked way better. But I thought it had to have some sort of weird element to it, like a nice bright element, so you'll see me later adding some stuff for that. Anyway, now I wanted to fill out the water spaces, because I think the water should have been calm. At the end, and this is where I just experimented with a pufferfish, and this this was a guy that just came along, and, um, yeah, he was just chilling, you know. So, um, this was, so I was filling out all the water spaces, and, because I thought in the fountain, you know, you want that flat water, so, like, if you ever, your dog dived in or something, it's nice. Then I had a glowstone, this was my touch, touch I thought at the moment, that, um, would it finish off? It didn't, it didn't look, like, like it didn't look bright enough, so you'll see me add more accents in. So, um, I wanted to see what it looked like at night, and it looked like this. Um, it was quite bright, but not too. Then I was so confused because this guy went invisible, so I'm like, see, I got distracted. Anyway, um, tried to drag him out, and then I decided to name him and his people Bob. They are in the Bob town, and her. You know, he's got his own right for that. So, anyway, back to building. I decided to do this little top bit of glowstone, and I thought it looked really cool. I really did. Um, this top piece of glowstone, and then I did um, this Xbox with this glass thing, I kind of cool. didn't. Um, took away the water, because I wanted to look how I could, you know. It's so cool, and I really didn't like the look of this part, and I really didn't. And you probably might, but I didn't. So I decided to branch up, like make it quite a wider um, fountain, what do you call that, in the middle piece, you know, that spire up to where the water comes from. And I think it looked a little better, and then um, it started to look better, but I still felt it didn't look great. So. I decided that I would build off and see if, if I took away some cobblestone because that looked weird, but it looked cool. But it kind of looked like it was floating, it was invisible. I tried it again, even higher this time, like four blocks or three blocks higher. It looked cool, but kind of not. It was, mm, it was kind of like no. So I tried to scrap that idea and went on to a little. Um, kind of branching out here didn't work either. Um, this was a lot of trial and error. I didn't have in my mind exactly what I wanted. I wanted something. Exactly. I was excited. So I was going to 
dig down and I wanted the space to be filled with those down. And that's what I did. So, so that is filled with glowstone, and I decided to replace all that stone in the middle of the box. So I think it looks really pretty. It looks way better. And it looks really cool. So, and then I decided that these little spaces needed something. And the lava was one of the best touches I did. I think it looks so cool and so, like, um, different because you don't like, you could go to a fountain and expect the lava in there. But it worked and it looked really cool. So I finished it. And it gave it a little bit like of a weird thing because it was when you put that water on top and that glass kind of looks like a like it was touching the water and the the um lava but then you could see the glass so it's kind of cool and this whole thing turned out to be made of lava and see it kind of looks like now I decided to do some torches but it kind of looked kind of weird it wasn't. I think, but I like the lighting of it. I really do. Like, look, it kind of looks like the lava's underneath in some dimension. I don't know. It looked really cool to me. Maybe you guys don't like it. Then I decided to do a little trail around here. So I really wanted that wood that I started with somewhere in my fountain. Um, I thought it looked really pretty with the colors and the oranges and stone. So I decided to do a little pathway around it, like a little. I don't know what you call it, base, um, out of it, and I, I liked how that looked. And then I tried to do it here, and it looked good. I liked the, because I wanted it to still be in my fountain, but a very minor essence of it. Um, then I messed up the water here, and I was trying to rebase it, because I liked that, like, blah, like that kind of four partish kind of thing. So I like that starts green that I need. I tried to go for this idea again about this because I really liked how the wood was looking. Water and wood may look good, it didn't. And so I changed back to cobblestone because I felt that, you know, it needs to look like a pebble vibe, but not. It was kind of like a wood on pebble kind of situation. So yeah. Um here I was just So back here, um, I saw the shape of this and I thought it was kind of cool shape from on top. It's kind of like a little star, like X, or, um, like, I don't know, like a hospital thing, but, yeah. Anyway, I decided to do now a little pathway going off, um, to lead to different routes and, um, to lead to different routes and, and the city. Because I wanted this episode not to be just building a fountain, like, to start branching out a bit to other stuff. So maybe I'll rename it, um, you know, not building a fountain. <laughs> it is building a fountain, but it's also building a pathway. Here I got my, got my dimensions wrong, so I had to redo it. It was like a six, every, like, five blocks, there was a six, um, wide of wood. So, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. And so the measures were correct. And they worked. So, really cool. Really, really cool. And I didn't even really, even here I was just exploring. I love doing this. I don't know why. I just, I like going like this and watching rain do different weird things in Minecraft. Anyway, joking. Um, off topic. So, I did this 10 blocks up. And did this on each side of the um, of the, the fountain. And you know, I've been thinking about this series while I built this thing because I can't bore you. I want to talk to you guys. So um, I was thinking that if you guys really like this series, I will continue. If you guys really don't, I don't get bored of smalls. Man, but we just have to, you know, we, you know. Bob is a struggling merchant here. Bob is struggling. Joking. Um, he needs our support, guys. So this is a little funny part. Earlier, before, I had done this to a village because I was, you know, wanted to explore the world. My game ended up lagging so much that I left, and I was worried I lost the fountain, but I found it. It was all good. Um, so. 
me. So I done two sides. I want to talk to you guys about um my channel. So I was I'm definitely gonna bring out some I think I'm gonna bring out some animation. I'm not really sure. Um it could happen. Like I just I struggle with learning animation as well. Um but I'm getting there and I might bring out some really cool animation. I've got really cool stories. For like story I can like do a whole series of just a made up story. Um that I could animate. So I'd love to do that. Um I'm ready to sign characters and I know what their names are. So tell me if you guys would be interested in that. Even if you aren't, I'm probably not doing anyway. Sorry guys, but I'm had a stream for a long time. So I wanna do that. Um this year is me just building this. <laughs> I enjoyed this really much to just, you know, have a little fun because I never really build and creative that much anymore. And this was kind of fun because I hadn't built in creative for a very long time. And I remember last time I did like a city, I was very, I was much younger and I um, it got lost. The world could last. So I was just wearing that. So I wanted to do another little city, but this one obviously went way better. And I thought it'd be fun. And it really was. Um, you don't actually realize that the building in Minecraft it's really fun and creative. I mean, you can do it in survival, obviously, but um, survival is really so that would be cool to do. It. Um, but I wanted to do this, and then here, wait, so we're done here. I wanted to do a little light post, light post to light up the world. So I did this um, on um, each little street path, whatever you want to call it, and it looked very really pretty. And I really liked the end result of how this little kind of scene looked. It looked nice. Um, I did it on all four sides. Four sides, yes, four sides. I did all four sides. And it was really fun to do. <laughs> they were easy to build. And um, honestly, I had the best time building it. I don't know, I've said that 70 times now, but I had the best time. And, you know, the llamas were enjoying it. Bob and Bob and Jeff, I like to call um, the llamas Jeff and Jerry. So, Jeff and Jerry and Bob were really enjoying it, and so did I. So, mm. Mm. Then you'll see once I'm done finishing the llama so I saw this like little kind of dark spot, but I thought it was okay. You know, I did my best to you, I did it, I did. maybe in the future we will reach visit the fountain, because there are still some things I'd like to maybe do with the fountain, so this is what I look for in bird eye bird eyes view, but I decided I need some, like, lushness, so I added some trees, I'm definitely going to add way bigger trees, I just needed to try on this, I'm definitely going to add one of those long oaks to it, but I, you know, um, didn't want to do it because I wanted to just see as a trial run. I didn't want to have to chop down that whole thing of something raw. Then I added some greenery, some luscious. Um, but I'll definitely revisit the tree idea in another video. Maybe a little revamping of the city I'll do. Um, and so I did all this little luscious around it. And I loved how it looked. And it was absolutely amazing. So this is the final result. This is the final result. We finally made it. This is the result of our park, um, our park fountain, our park fountain with lanterns and light posts that are made of glowstone with trees of trees and a beautiful lava wood kind of water, water, watery fountain with stone, pop of stone, and little pepper kind of indents inside, and it looks, I had no idea going into this kind of would look like this at all, and I wanted to see, show you guys what it would look like at night here. So I set my time, um, set midnight, and I got to this, and it looks so cool, it looks even better at night, and I think it's a really cool little, little first little thing you can do to our city. 
Like it's great.